Mmm, cheese grits. What did you get? Um, this is salmon hash. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <gasps> oh, my pancakes are here, <laughs> but it's in a pizza box. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> Look at this what? pancake. Look Why is at it in this. A pizza box? Oh, yes. Oh, that's <laughs> that's so big. I love it. Somebody else ordered pancakes. Oh. Yes. This is what I got. So now the fitness area. I don't know where to start. I do, girl. You can get a hand on this. Hey, guys. We're eating breakfast. Breakfast. It's Sunday today. Sunday, November 21st. We came in because of Thanksgiving. So we can be closed on Thanksgiving Day. Are you working tomorrow? I do work tomorrow. Me too! I work tomorrow. I work, Sunday, um, Monday. Yeah. Yeah. I work until Thanksgiving, but I have a car appointment, so hopefully I don't have to be here on Wednesday. On the 24th. I'm here on Wednesday too, but what time is your appointment? 9 a.m. I can... Oh. <laughs> you know, sometimes they make me leave early, so yeah. I can stay for you if you want. Well, I'm hoping that if, um, I'm hoping that it's a long day, mm -hmm. and then I'll just leave you with my car. Mm. So good. Yeah, I was starving. I didn't even know. He told them that. So one of the questions are... How long did it take you to feel comfortable with dialysis machine? How long? Hmm. Like setting up the machine and like, it takes a while for you to get comfortable. <laughs> you said no. Like the troubleshooting and all that no. stuff. Everybody learns at a different pace. Yeah, everybody learns at a different pace. But also, one thing that I realized is like, um, the like when they switch the lines and it's different. It feels different. Like I remember, I was here when they switched the lines from the old machines yeah. to these new ones. Sure. And it was like it was really frustrating because like you get so good at one way of troubleshooting and now you have to learn the other way. But um, it just kind of all starts to make sense once you know where like everything goes inside of the chambers and stuff like that. It just starts to make sense. I, I can't really explain it, but I think that it probably took me about a year. Yeah, I was nervous the first time they ever changed the lines. Mm. I was like, oh my god. I, was, I thought oh, I was gonna quit. I really did. I was like, I don't. Because the first, the first one um, was like shorter, you know, mm -hmm. shorter and then more manageable. One. <laughs> did they have the ones with the bubble for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those. That was the first one that I learned, and then they changed it. Like, I was still new that time. I think when they mm -hmm. changed it, <laughs> I was too. Because we started around the same time. Mm -hmm. So I can say. Like, I was like, what? Like, probably like, because the training is what? Like three months or something? Mm -hmm. So, like, after I got out of training, probably like, like seven months or something. <laughs> or like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. I don't know when it I got comfortable. definitely about a year. Like, like you start feeling like okay like i i do this every day i'm like good at this like you, and then i, I don't want to say you stop asking questions mm -hmm. because you never really stop asking questions there's always something to learn but um i definitely you learn like, something really new got, every like, day yeah i really got like a groove in myself like i like would instead of asking a question i would like look at the machine and be like okay like what needs doing like just kind of thinking going through the gears of it um but sometimes you do end up having to ask questions right with troubleshooting it's like a lot of stuff like like when there's a problem and it's just so much into it because there's there's just so much into it but i'm glad there's other people there to help you you know all the time yeah but when you're the person that like has to help all the time you get like super annoyed like <laughs> you're like well did you look at the machine like did you you, why don't you see the clamp on the... 
It's clearly kinked. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're new, sometimes you don't think about that stuff. You know? Yeah, you're worried. Because the machine's going off and you can't control it. It's like, oh my god, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. And the so air, over, that's over the tank. most, oh my god. Air detector alarms, like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the air. <laughs> like the moment you walk over to a machine and it's air detector alarm, you're like, you, you're like damn, how long am I going to be here? <gasps> Oh my god, have you ever... Okay, but the very first time I I forgot to clamp the lines for the saline. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, and you drained the whole bag. That was the worst. Oh my god. Yeah, and then you see like the blood going back up. Oh my god, I hate that. Like It's depressing. It's like, it's so annoying like trying to take the air out. Mm -hmm. That's the most annoying the thing ever. Little bubbles get trapped everywhere and your TMP <laughs> is off. So, yeah, once that happens, it's just like, it's bad for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then patients would like, get mad at you and stuff just for like, giving them... You, like... <laughs> like, the whole time you're like fixing the machine and stuff, but they're just like looking at you like, what's going on over there? <laughs> like, they look like they hate you. Oh my god, like, especially the one that I did that to, he's very knowledgeable with dialysis. And he got so mad, and I cried in the bathroom. Oh my god! Like, pay attention. Like, oh my god, I cried. I've never so had a, a patient make me cry. I'm not oh doing that. Oh my god! Like, mm -mm. literally, I was so. Like, I didn't want to mess up, you know. Like, and I was just like new that time. <laughs> yeah, but, I'm not crying. That. Yeah, I cry like, like I think the, the things that I have cried about is like when we lose a patient. Or if they're going through a super hard time and they're crying. Hey! <laughs> when the patients cry out, I get sad. That's very sad. Okay. What's your favorite thing about your job? Coworkers. What's your favorite thing? Yes, that's it. Coworkers and the rapport with your patients. Like when you can joke around with the patients, yes. they really are good jokers. Their relationship. And like, yeah, with... and they, they can take it. And they're funny and they like you know keep the same energy with you that's the best but then like sometimes you do notice like for even for myself like i'll notice i'm not in the best mood and like the patients kind of see it and they'll be like yeah, we have okay? those days yeah and they'll say like is everything okay and then all you do is like you know you don't want to give them like your whole life story or anything but just like girl yeah. it's just been it's been rough girl and they're usually like i understand and then they kind of like leave you alone and then, you know, they, they ask you what they need and stuff like that, obviously. That's so but, sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. But I do like that. I like our patients. Yeah. I love it. And our team. What's... Maybe yeah. Team. Is that my... Yeah. Patients, um, teammates, co-workers. Um, we get along pretty well here. Um, when it's almost time to go home. <laughs> That's one thing. I like when the <laughs> schedule is out on time. Yeah. And we stick to it. <laughs> when the schedule is out early, when yes. The, oh, not. yes. When the schedule's out early and I can plan the rest of my life around this place. Because <laughs> oh. sometimes we don't know what time we're getting up until that morning when you yes. come to work. <laughs> Which sucks. Yeah, because but... sometimes it'll be like, oh, I get off at 10 a.m. because I'm the opener. And then it's like. Oh, five. somebody called out. <laughs> And you eat it every time. Somebody called out, can you stay? Um, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What makes you roll your eyes every time you hear it? Certain patients. <laughs> <laughs> yes! just certain patients like they don't even have to be talking what to you but really like good. yes oh my god <laughs> it, okay there's patients that that would always want to go to the bathroom <laughs> yes and like every time they call you you already know like why they're calling you <laughs> but it's like but it's it's ne okay so it's never the ones that like take take them off guard like it's not those that get on my nerves it's the ones that like come in and they eat like a full breakfast and then like they get their stomach all <laughs> messed up because they whatever they ate the night before is like urgent to come out. But then they're just like packing on more food on top of it. 
And then they're like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. And it's like, I don't think that you needed to eat that full size meal of anything because you're on this machine for four hours. Like, not and a you're full drinking, meal. And you're drinking coffee. <laughs> and they're not supposed to even like drink like certain things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so it's like they, they work themselves up to the fact that they have to go to the bathroom instead of just like, because like if you get off at 10 a.m., then just have a late breakfast. Yeah. It would be like, oh my god, the and same then, people <laughs> every time. <laughs> and they get off like two and three times. Like, that's, oh my god. Like, that's really annoying. But, you know, like everybody's body, obviously they have to go to the bathroom. You have to like let them go. Like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I wouldn't want anybody to be embarrassed. But it is very <laughs> annoying when it's like, okay, you could have just not done this to all of us. <laughs> but who am I to tell people they can't eat? Because I'm going to eat. <laughs> As a child, what did you think would be awesome about being an adult, but isn't awesome at all? <laughs> about an adult paying bills. You thought that was going to be awesome? No, oh, no, 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 no. About being me. able to stay up all hours of the night. Oh my That's god, real, you're right. Baby, there's nothing I love more than sleep. I know, me too. Oh my god. When you're a kid, you're like, oh, I get to stay yes. up. I get to stay up. I can go to bed whenever I want to. No. Um, <laughs> Somebody said, uh, the one thing that you try to stay away from as a child, like the two things that you try to stay away from as a child is like naps and spankings and like as an adult, that's all you want. <laughs> <laughs> you're so crazy. <laughs> child, what that did was... you think would be awesome about being an adult? Um, Oh, freedom. I thought freedom was going to be awesome, only I found out that like there's not really any of it. <laughs> it's like what you can fit in within like other people's time is mm-hmm. actual freedom as an mm-hmm. adult. Like what can you fit in between working for this company? Freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I just knew, like, oh, my hair's going to be in the wind. I'm going to be an adult. It's going to be crazy. And now it's like, mm -mm, I'm super mild-tempered, and I just want to be home at a reasonable time. Yes. That's all you wanted. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, before, I thought, like, being an adult, like, having my own place and everything, like, yes, I I get to do whatever I want. Like, when I actually have my own place, like, and started working more, it's like you don't want to go anywhere anymore. Like before, you were living with your parents. Like you just want to go out. Get and out, stuff. get out, do everything. Yeah. And <laughs> now you don't even want to go out, and you just want to chill at your house, and you just. <laughs> yeah. It's like. I know. had more money as a kid. Uh, me too. I had way more money. I had as a more kid. money when I didn't have bills. I mean, well, well yeah, but like. And now I'm saying, like, as a kid, like, when your mom just kind of, like, gives you money because, like, you know, Mm -hmm. that's, like, her job, like, oh, you're going off to this thing? Okay, well, here's this money. It always lasted. But now it's, like, if I plan anything by myself, I'm, like, "Mm." (laughs) (laughs) mm. Maybe I got to take this off the list, like, but, you know, that's just personal preferences and choosing things. Yeah. Yeah. Being an adult is not fun. (laughs) Um, it has its sometimes. perks. Yeah, it sometimes. Has its perks. It does have its perks. Like people say, don't grow up, it's a trap. Huh? Don't grow up, it's a trap. <laughs> right. What originally got you interested in dialysis? Hmm. What interest? Okay, what about you? <laughs> You make more money than a hospital? Listen, like I said, what got it's me into a- dialysis is getting the hell out of Walmart. <laughs> That is, that is what got me interested in dialysis. Yes. I was like, oh no, these people are nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everyone here. I mean, obviously <laughs> not, but like, it's just the amount of petty that Walmart yes. has for no life-saving services. Girl, get out of my face. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm sorry. At least here we have a, we have like oh something we have to do. We have to keep people Look, alive. So Walmart was just ridiculous. Is, guys. It's huge. So the size of okay, wait. The size it's, of a personal it's a pizza, pizza box. <laughs> but yeah, that's what so, got me into dialysis. What? It's not gonna be your. Room. Ooh, I love that filter. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Um. We take good pictures together. So cute. 
Well, my 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 reason. I don't know. My brother works in dialysis, like since I was a kid. So, really? Yeah. Since I was a kid. I feel like I didn't know that. Yeah, he's. Oh my god. Since I was a kid, he he was a, okay. First, he was a PCT. Yeah, he's been working in dialysis. Oh my god, since I can remember. So he became a. So he was a tech first, and then an LPN, and then an RN. But he works in a queue, and he loves it even more. Like, yeah. even more working than working in chronic. Where does he live? He lives in Portland now. He's Oregon. Oregon, yes. What are your top five biggest pet peeves? Top five. I have pet peeves. What are your pet peeves? My top five pet peeves are not being told that the schedule has changed. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Not That's being like, yeah, not being told like that, that the schedule has That's has changed when the person who changed the schedule has been walking around you all day. <laughs> it is just it's just You're a so lot right. like Cause like here's the thing like so messed up. two people would be like hey so um <laughs> me gonna do this this and this <laughs> and then too. you're like wait I'm I'm doing what <laughs> it's like yeah you'll be doing this like wait since when I was supposed to be leaving <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and, so that's frustrating that okay, so that's pet peeve number one pet peeve number two are patients that are just super selfish like they just act like they are the only patient on the floor oh there is God, no reason there's no reason that you should be like listening to any other patient right now um yeah they, like, see you like struggling to do something else and they're, and they're like gonna calling call you, you <laughs> right when you're like in the middle of like helping someone yeah that's but, like crashing yeah oh it's, my God. it's super frustrating because it's like why wouldn't you want me to be all hands on deck like this is your like pod neighbor yeah <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like you know if they die they die in front of you today oh my god right like <laughs> but anyway um okay so that's number two pet peeve number three that's, yeah that's my that's one of them mm -hmm. pet peeve number three oh is that um we only get 30 minute breaks <laughs> Because like in this realm and, yeah, and this minutes. yeah, in this amount of tired and working twelve hour shifts, something needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what well, it's like forty five oh. minutes or something. You know? Yeah, forty five minutes is good. Cause it's like, what if you don't have food, and then right. you have to get your food? Um, it's like already thirty minutes back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number four is that we no longer get bonuses and this is definitely a job where we should be getting bonuses at least a thousand dollars a year a thousand, like and like those bonuses used to be so nice oh my god if you have a kid you kind of do they get that thousand dollars for child care yeah well i don't have a kid so, <laughs> so I'm, oh, i yeah. haven't gotten anything you better get on that I'm just kidding. oh no thank you girl i'll I'm do kidding. without because a child costs way more than a thousand dollars my gosh yeah I don't um, know, my kid doesn't really cost me that much money. <laughs> Except food. Um, and then number five. Oh, number five, no parking. Uh, so hard nice. to find You're parking. Spot on, man. Yeah, because I, I don't have that many, like, needs or want. Like, I just want things to be right. <laughs> like, that's it. That's but it. The, what time we get in, like, you, you come in early. Yeah, you come in early, but that's the, like it's okay. So when I when I didn't when I used to work night shift, I used to like sometimes they would say like, "Oh, Spencer, you can leave at nine. and I'm like, "Well, I feel uncomfortable leaving at nine because I'm the only male here, and the girls have to walk so far to their car. Yeah, and we are across the street from a mental institution. <laughs> so basically, I have to stay to make sure that everybody gets home safe because what's going to happen is I'm going to come in the next day and there's going to be like tape around the building, and I'm going to be like, "What the hell happened?" And they're going to say like, "Right after you left a madman." Him. And I'm like, I mean, of course, I don't want to be there for the madman to get, you know, me, but at least I'm gonna beat his ass. Like, I'm gonna do whatever I can. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel bad if I come in and I, I was not able to do anything. It just makes me feel sick. Like, the thought I think of that. One of mine are when, um, when, when someone complains too much, yeah. it's like, I hate it. I hate yeah. that. I don't know why, but it's like, and it's it's a certain complaint too. Yeah. Like, 
sometimes it's like, like you'll hear somebody complaining about something and then like whatever is going on in your life you are unable to resonate with them like girl is that <laughs> is that what's going on for you i was like um, stop like i'll be quiet before i like yeah, yeah you yeah. know like but if, if you, i'm quiet i'm complaining in my head you, <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly like it's in my head like yeah everything all the complaints are <laughs> yeah y'all don't know if it's really that bad because i'm leaving i will never put <laughs> I'm... there's a lot of things that i put before myself but like if i'm on the brink <sighs> all right y'all it is no longer healthy for me to be here <laughs> that's why michelle sent me home yesterday girl michelle looked at my face and was like you know, I think I'll take over your pod. And I was like, oh girl. Really? I feel like you made the positive decision for everybody here. <laughs> so, what do I like and what do I not like? I'm assuming this is about dialysis. What do I like? Um, I like everything. Yeah, I like, I like everything here except, of course, stress. Like, that's in every job though, but what do I not like? Um, I guess I can say like less communication. Yeah, like less communication is like, yeah, that's one of them. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have three other siblings. I have a brother and two sisters. What is going on with this hair? What's my favorite thing about my job? Most definitely co-workers. That's my favorite thing about my job. Co-workers. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I just love like how we're like brothers and sisters. I have everything in this <laughs> paper. What originally got you interested in your current field of work? Um, I... I've been working in dialysis for six years now. Yeah, six years. I started in 2015 and uh, I'm still here. I just, I love it and I just love it. So next is, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? One thing about me is I feel like, I feel like I could change. Sometimes I feel like I'm too nice. Like sometimes... I feel like I'm not able to speak up but I'm trying my best though like I'm trying to like speak up for myself now like I don't know I just feel like sometimes like I always think of what other people would would feel first so yeah but sometimes it's not a good thing because people could step on you so yeah I think that's one thing I want to change about myself is, you know, being too nice all the time. But I'm slowly changing that, okay? I'm slowly changing it. It's about to be 2022. I always get this question, how much do you get paid as a PCT or a dialysis technician? I think I've answered this in my past video. It really depends on where you live which state you live in or what city you live in. I also get a lot of question about, do you have to go to school for this? Or or how much do you get paid out of school? I didn't go to school for this, but you can. Um, but you really don't have to because um, you, you can just get trained on the job. And yeah, you can get paid while training, you know? Some people go to school for this, and that's fine. You have more advantage than the other people that didn't go to school for it, but, I mean, you don't have to. Of course, starting off, and you don't have any experience, especially medical background experience, I'm sure it's they're not going to start you as high, but it really depends on where you live. Like, for example, if you live in New York City or California, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little higher than like Florida or any state that has a low cost of living. So yeah, it really depends on where you live. So maybe you want to ask around like, you know, um, if, you, if, if you're trying to apply, like just just ask, you know, just it, it doesn't hurt to ask. Always get this question. 
like if I can help them get a job okay like I really would love to help every single one of you guys but I don't know how like how 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 would I help you um, especially there's so many people um, in India that is doing or in school for dialysis and some are asking me if I can get them a job or like just help them get a job here or um, I don't know how to do that like I I feel like when you get here it's easier to get a job like I feel like once you get to United States I feel like it's easy to get a job because they're always hiring but I don't know in terms of like 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 migrating here like I don't know I'm not sure about that but I always get this question every single video of if I can help them to get a job here so that's the only that's I think that's my answer is like as long as like when you when you get to United States it's easier to get a job um, in terms of like legalization if you're you know if you have all types of if you have all the documentations and all that stuff you should be good to go it should it shouldn't be hard to get a job but yeah I'm not sure how I can help but I hope that answers your question. How do you overcome the fear of needles? I'm not really scared of needles. Like I'm I don't know. I've I've never been scared of needles even when I get my blood drawn or anything like that. I just don't look. Like I don't look and I just like flinch a little bit whenever I get stuck, you know, like when you're getting your blood drawn, but um I think when you start working here, the more you see it, the more you overcome, if that's what you're asking for, like, because we would deal with needles all the time. Once you see it more and once you deal with it more, I think you're going to overcome that fear. But yeah, you'll get over it. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Oh my God. It's on video. Bye, Julia. Oh my god, we're gonna go to Colorado. We have to go to Colorado. You guys are coming. You know we I'm have to go to Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have that baby first, girl. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Julia's <laughs> leaving us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're gonna miss her. We're gonna miss you guys. Like, I feel like you were only here for like six months. Like, I was here a year and two months. Wait, I know, so, but I just, I guess I was getting off early. I didn't even meet you until like you were here and like knew what you were doing. That's, yeah, that's true, that's true. Because I came at the weirdest time. Yeah. I'm uh, just a night shift person, you know? Night party. Yes. Congrats, Kwan! Yes! <laughs> Hell yes! Way to go! Way to go! Yes! <laughs>